When you book a rental online, you base your expectations on the pictures. A Tempe woman says the rental home she showed up to was nothing like what she was promised. She says it was dirty and unsafe. And when she was denied a full refund, she contacted three or on your side, Gary Harper. The list of problems here seems to go on and on for her. It, it is. No. And yeah. keep in mind, she needed uh, temporary housing. She's getting transferred right. out of state. So just something, you know, for the next 30 days mm -hmm. or so before she moves. So she did what a lot of people would do. She went online and found a house that had a room to rent. She thought she might be sharing that house with maybe a family or some roommates. But that was not the case at all, leading her to rental remorse. The room looked nice in the pictures. When Krista Luciano found this room for rent on Airbnb's website, she thought it looked good. You know, it looks it looks clean. You know, the floor looks clean. Krista paid almost $1,200 in advance for a month's stay. However, when she arrived at the house in Mesa, she found the lock on the front door broken and she was able to just walk right in. Once inside, she found the entire home had been converted to bedrooms all available for rent. There was no living room, no kitchen, a green pool, and only one bathroom that all renters in the house had to share. Here's what the bathroom looked like on Airbnb's website. You know, from a distance, you look at that and you can't tell that the tub is has pink mold around it. But this is what On Your Side discovered when we visited the house. The bathtub was filthy and there was that pink mold. So I sat down and I almost started crying because it just felt, it felt dirty and just bizarre in a way, like it didn't feel safe at all. Krista says there was no way she was sharing the bathroom and the rest of the house with complete strangers and immediately contacted Airbnb along with the host. She told them she wanted her $1,200 returned because the house just didn't feel safe. And they responded very shortly after and said, of course it's safe. Krista never stayed in the house and kept waiting for Airbnb to change its mind regarding a refund. I never canceled my reservation because I didn't want to forfeit my money. Krista contacted On Your Side and we wanted to see just how safe the house really was. After doing some digging, we found that Mesa police have responded to the home nearly 20 times over the last year and a half including calls for sexual assault, burglary, threats, and suspicious activity. The list goes on. There's a lot of illegal stuff that happens in places like this that hurt people. Since the room was still rented to Krista, she agreed to take On Your Side back to the house, and what we discovered surprised even us. As we walked in the room, it's not the way it was when I left it, and I'm still renting it. So someone has been in here, they've slept here. Yep, apparently someone had been staying inside Krista's room. And then there's this dirty towel hanging up. So someone has been in this room that I am paying for. On your side, got a hold of Airbnb and sent them these pictures of that broken door lock, the dirty towel hanging on the closet, the filthy bathroom, and that green pool. On your side also attached that police document with those disturbing calls for service. After reviewing our information, Airbnb decided to refund nearly $1,200 back to Krista. They also launched an investigation into the hosts who rent other properties on Airbnb's sites. They need to do better and they need to verify that the homes that are being listed are to code. I mean, if they had done that alone, then that would have avoided all of this. In the meantime, Krista has been renting a hotel room. It's more money than she wants to spend, but she says it's worth it. You're, you're comfortable here, aren't you? I am. I am very do comfortable Do you feel here. safe? I do feel safe. Krista says the entire ordeal has been a real eye-opener and credits on your side for getting involved. I'm very grateful. Um, you know, it's, it's money that I really needed to get back, and I would not have gotten it back had you guys not been a part of this. And get this, the owner of the house, which is referred to as the host by Airbnb, they have been cited by the city of Mesa several times this year for using a single family home as a multifamily rental. City of Mesa records show that they are trying to collect $1,600 uh, $1, in fines, but the homeowner as far as we can tell, has not paid up yet. So Mesa is pursuing them. Mm. Kind of makes you wonder, you, know, you see pictures online, you're like, like, you know, this viewer looks great, shows up nothing like she thought it was gonna be.
That is the yeah. worst. And you would think that Airbnb would thank her for bringing this to their attention because it's not good for their brand either to have right. something like this happen. N not only did they not thank her, but like you said, but they were uh, somewhat reluctant mm -hmm. to even give the $1,200 back. Uh, she said that they told her this is a one-time refund only. There you go, and it, they were just not really what she thought they were going to, you know, be responsive like she thought. Yeah. But anyway, we got the twelve hundred dollars. Yeah, I'm glad she called you. I'm wow. glad you guys yeah. got it done, Gary. Thanks. Ben.